In the 90s, a young boy achieved stardom at an early age, but this golden child eventually developed a strong aversion to rap. This video explores why this transformation occurred, including his struggles with mental health and the very industry that made him millions. Bow Wow, born Chad Gregory Moss on March 9, 1987, was drawn to hip-hop from an early age, especially enjoying gangster rap. Initially, he adopted the moniker Kid Gangsta. Things took a turn when he learned that Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg were coming to his city. Although the chronic tour wasn't a typical event for a six-year-old, Chad's mother, Teresa, was anything but conventional. She took him everywhere she went. During a pause in the concert, an announcer asked if anyone in the audience wanted to rap. Chad's hand shot up instantly. That moment would change his life forever. As the crowd cheered, Chad was lifted over his mother's head and carried to the stage. There he stood, looking out at the thousands of fans gathered to see his idols, Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. They were all waiting for him. I remember asking my mother, like, did they boo? Cause I mean, it was overwhelming, but it was all love, Chad later recalled. Despite the pressure, he wasn't nervous, he had performed at local talent shows and in his living room countless times. After his set, Chad was rushed backstage to meet the headliner, none other than Snoop Dogg, who had been impressed by his performance. Snoop saw something familiar in Chad, a spark, a stage presence, and a skill set that reminded him of himself. He gave Chad a new name, Lil Bow Wow. Snoop had just one question for the young star. Would he like to join the tour? With Teresa's approval, Chad spent the summer performing in front of packed stadiums. When the tour ended, it was back to school for Chad, but his love for rapping never waned. Snoop Dogg continued to mentor him and even featured him in the Gin and Juice music video. At 13, Chad released his debut album, Beware of Dog, with significant help from Jermaine Dupri. The album was a hit, selling over 101,000 copies in its first week and eventually being certified double platinum by the RIAA by March 2001, quite the achievement for a debut. Lil Bow Wow's second album, Doggy Bag, released in 2002, was another success, reaching number six on the Billboard Albums chart and eventually going platinum, buoyed by two strong singles. Lil Bow Wow enjoyed a lavish lifestyle, winning numerous musical awards, and by a young age, he had already acquired a $2 million mansion and a fleet of luxury cars. As he matured, he dropped the Lil from his name, noting the saturation of Lils in the industry. His third album, Unleashed, didn't perform as well as expected, selling less than a million copies, though it still produced a few chart-topping tracks. His following album, Wanted, however, did go platinum. In 2006, he released The Price of Fame, which included several hits that appeared on the Billboard charts. Aside from music, Bow Wow also pursued acting, with a notable role in the Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift. However, 2009 would mark the last time Bow Wow saw a song on the Billboard charts. After 2010, his life took a different turn, and he became a regular figure in courtrooms. In 2012, Bow Wow was sued by a bank in Georgia over the repossession of his Lamborghini Murcielago. The bank recouped $161,000 by reselling the car, but sued Bow Wow for an additional $25,000 in associated costs. When the situation became public, Bow Wow denied any financial issues, insisting he was doing well. However, later that year, during child support proceedings, it was revealed that his finances were far from stable. Bow Wow disclosed to the court that he was earning only $4,000 a month from cash money records. At that time, Bow Wow also leased a Jeep, which, when combined with his other bills, left him with only about $1,500 in disposable income each month. However, it later came to light that Bow Wow had concealed additional earnings from the court. Interestingly, the day after this revelation, he became one of the hosts of the 106 and Park show. Following a court order to pay $11,500 in child support, Bow Wow's financial troubles didn't end there. He was also pursued by collection agencies and the IRS. One agency was chasing him for a debt of $283,000, while the IRS claimed he owed approximately $90,000 due to failure to properly file his taxes. The collection agency's pursuit was connected to a Ferrari that Bow Wow had stopped making payments on. 
After a year, he parted ways with Cash Money Records, frustrated that they were not releasing his music. In 2010, he announced a new album featuring big names like Lil Wayne, Snoop Dogg, and DMX. However, in 2016, he declared his retirement from music, which was met with mockery from fans. Comments like Bow Wow retires from rapping, wait, was he still rapping, circulated widely, with many questioning his relevance. The trolling intensified when, a year later, Bow Wow posted a photo claiming he was flying in a private jet. It was soon revealed that he had simply downloaded the image from the internet and applied a filter. A fellow passenger recognized him and posted a picture on Twitter, showing that Bow Wow was actually flying economy class. This incident sparked a Bow Wow challenge, where people humorously exaggerated their lifestyles on social media. The story didn't end there. He also shared a photo captioned millionaire lifestyle, but was caught when another user pointed out that they had uploaded the same photo to Instagram a week earlier. In 2018, Bow Wow returned with an announcement about a new release, which he planned to title Odysseus or Tide Spelled Backwards. He revealed that he had contemplated ending his life back in 2010. However, the album never materialized, though a few tracks surfaced online, garnering a modest number of views on YouTube. He also launched his own show, Growing Up Hip Hop, Atlanta, which has aired several seasons. A year later, Bow Wow made headlines again after getting into a fight with his girlfriend. According to NBC, police encountered the couple around 4.15 a.m., both displaying visible signs of an altercation. When questioned, they accused each other of aggression, leading the police to detain them both, as they couldn't determine who had initiated the confrontation. Photos from the police department showed Bow Wow with scratches on his face. Despite all this, things weren't entirely bleak for Bow Wow. He managed to reprise his role in the movie Fast and Furious 9. He also announced plans to record his final album under the Death Row label, wishing to conclude his music career where it all began. When a fan asked if he would go through it all again, knowing the outcome, Bow Wow responded unexpectedly, saying he would have chosen to be an actor and never touched music. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into Bow Wow's incredible journey, from a young rap prodigy to a figure battling the very industry that once made him a star. His story is a powerful reminder of the highs and lows that come with fame and the toll it can take on mental health. If you found this video insightful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content exploring the untold stories behind the headlines. See you in the next one.